Let's give it a, let's give it a try. Here we go. He can gain us some life. Kinda, we have to have other creatures though. I'll probably draw him on the first game. Like just right away on the first game. There he is. <laughs> oh man. This is this is great. This is a great little hand here. Uh, we're gonna, we are going to keep this despite Gideon. Um, can't you can't can't make that stuff up. Cannot make that stuff up. You could go with Sarkin, right? Got a Elf. I'm gonna shock it. I'm gonna shock it real good. Everyone's gonna shock. I'm gonna shock. You're gonna get shocked. Daybreak Chaplain. Okay, all right. Your Sacred Foundry. All right. Are we actually gonna? Is this gonna be a Gideon game or no? What do we think? Think we're ever gonna draw draw a way to cast it? Or are we doomed to eternity? Well, we have to kill this, I think, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll refill my water here. I made the wise choice. Oh, man. Maybe could have waited on the shock. All right, let's not play a Gideon. We'll play a Narset. I have practiced against him, and I have just let's the trick see. For this. How about a Tefri Time Raveler? That seems good against enchanted creatures. Seems quite good. Curtis, thanks for coming. Seems good against that too. I won't forget our time together. Interplanar beacon, alright. I think we're gonna play Sarkin though, and then next turn we're gonna play Gideon and Tefri. Do your worst. Do your worst. Behold! Now hopefully. Whenever a creature attacks, it's not going to get the triggers. Are not going to work. So we'll find out. Well, I know they're. I know it's not going to work because they're going to come into play tapped and attacking. I will consume you. Now you get two two cats. Gain two life. We'll block the chaplain. Sarkin bites the dust. Only human. Shield mate, okay. And there's prison realm, that's not bad. And then we bounce this first. Now, why are you making me tap all of this crazy mana here? Just let me just let me tap normally. You wanting to tap all of my white sources? I saw I saw that arena. Let me lead the charge into darkness. And we're going to choose my light. vigilance. 
Going to play Tefri Time Raveler. Right on schedule. I'm gonna turn this Go war forward. leader. I got this. Draw another Sarkin. Which is what we like. We like the Sarkins. Five. That's a lot. You want to get Gideon? Yeah, my planeswalkers are going to be dead. Look at your orator, though. No, you don't want to attack with orator? I would, I would like you to attack. Oh, yeah, there we go. Attacking me with orator? Okay. Well, these are all dead. This is hardly quite Okay, that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. What's with the interesting one ofs? Just because we're playing best of one, so they are just interesting one ofs. Pretty much exactly. Pretty much exactly what you said. Just interesting one ofs. Okay. All right. Let's attack first. Let's not be silly. All right. Now we'll get all of these. Seder, okay. Let's... Oh, Pyrohelix? Yeah, that's definitely an interesting one. I'll give you that. My prowess is up. Meditate and prepare. All right. Let's just, that's actually not it's not the worst thing in the world. That lets us cast Sarkin. It's actually the only card we could have gotten that lets us do that. You to call me <laughs> Magnificent! Is he gonna target out last last turn jumped? Uh yeah, perhaps. Well thank you for everyone that's the first time catching the stream. Keep an open mind. Let's get a Tefri. That's a powerful card, right? Gain some lives. Some life points. I won't hide from the Hold that thought. Plus I summon you. One more of those and we'll be good to go. We don't want that. Okay. Yeah, we probably misordered that. Probably should have got Sarkin out. And rather than attacking and damage in, just blocking and get it in. Feel bad for opponent getting paired against a real deck. Yeah, I think they did, you know. They did what they were their deck, I think, was able to do. All right, so here's the Pyrohelix. Let's see if, uh, see Gideon was a good ad, was it? It seemed terrible. All right, this is what we have this for. <sighs> Stupid pride mate. Uh, so, so dumb. All right. Just let me two for one you, please. Like, play something where I can two for one you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for doing it pre-combat. I appreciate that. Okay. One. 
Yep. Let's let's just prison realm. Th this lets us scry, which is important here. Where our other play, which is Sahili, just potentially dies to the Pride Mate. I think that's very possible. Wilderness Reclamation. Nice. We hit a land also. Karn, see if we can find some more lands. My favorite thing about Karn and lands is your opponent always gives you the land, and most of the time you need the land. Like we're probably just going to get the land here, which is exactly what we want. Yep. That's how it goes. Uh, let's plus. Well chosen. I don't know what we get. I'm fine with either. Tefri? Okay. So, let's. Healy. Pyro Helix. It's just the one. Two damage. Done. Gideon is supposedly good against control decks. What are we getting? Karn here? Karn is fine. I will endure. Alright. Sarkin. Let's make a dragon. Your end has arrived. Uh, target this artifact. Target a dragon. Do I have your attention now? Attack with a dragon. All right. Let's see. Can we? Avoid Judge JP with the raiding party of three. I believe that's uh, I believe that's John Paul. That's the only Judge JP I know. Yes, it is. What's up? How's it going? All right, we're gonna keep this hand. Let's see. Steam vents to start off. No need to turn one spell pierce or anything. That's no need to get crazy. Playing Dreadhorde and Rebuilt Phoenix. Oh, we got to play Dreadhorde on here too. However, uh, it was in. We got to command the Dreadhorde with the Wanderer and Limited. Playing the one deck I don't have the wild cards for. I've been fortunate. I only had to spend one wild card on this entire deck, which was the Mox Amber. All right, let's you're duressing us. So this is Esper Super Friends, most likely. So I'd rather have the Tefri out, even though they can kill it. They're clearly landlight. Sorry, I'm late. This might be a bad idea. We'll take it. All right, John Paul, thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. And Sprite. Let's bounce this. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Play Narset. There are so many thoughtfulness before. Oh, so many action. things. Uh, we'll take the shock. Two. If they want to replay it, we'll just shock it. They're going to replay it eventually. We're going to shock it eventually. 
They can choose. They can choose. They want to do it now or later. Looks like it's now. All right. What we find? All right. Here is the time. Here goes nothing. Right, this is what we're supposed to be good against with Gideon. The gods bless us in our righteous cause. I will lend you my strength. Davril. Davril indeed. Much. Yeah, this card Let of Tefri. We got a lot of these. Okay. Sarkan. You will feel the lick of my flames. Plus. Let's try this. Plus. Look to the skies. Plus. Let's give Tefri. Your light will clean Life Link. Yeah. Davril's whatever. We're not, we're not scared of Davril, I don't think. <laughs> Elder spell here? That'd be something. Perish the thought. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Pyrohelix. That'd be a big laugh if our opponent Elder spelled us. They did not, so... Okay. But they can't cast I any spells, so... Alright, good game. Cannot cast any spells. Says Tefri, everyone's favorite. Aegis Elbow Impersonator. I think they should model the looks of more planeswalkers off of people. Cause it's fun to be like, hey, we should do a movie that won't be good and then uh, and then cast these people for it. This seems fine if we're playing an aggressive deck, and if we have Narset if not, right? Cross our fingers. Come on, aggressive deck. Though I bet we're not because our opponent spent fifty dollars and got the pre order thing, so Thanks, William. Thanks for coming. Ah, yes. Pick up a Sarkin for Nickel Bolas Walker. Sarkin, sweet. Thought Erasure. All right. There goes Narset. Might as well discard the rest of our hand. Which is not very good. All right, let's draw another three mana Planeswalker. Any of them will do, even a Gideon. Ah, right on time. Honestly, I have the little ban baby Tefri from Constructed. I don't think we're... I'll be honest, folks. I think that Magic players are way too ban happy. I don't think we're in the I don't think we're in the realm of anything needing to be banned. Like not even not even close. Oh, that was a great way to tap that. Like, nothing is, uh, the devil. All right, well, it's part of Helix. Get something out of it. We'll learn from this. Um, they should fell kept into the yard. Must have one in hand. That's, that's kind of what I was thinking. But 
Didn't play last turn, so... I'm honestly not sure. Alright. Well, let's just resolve, so I guess we make a dragon. Yeah, I think this standard format is quite, quite healthy. Ritual Soot, all right. All right. Little Ritual. Come to me. They won't ban any war cards, though I feel like they aren't selling any more packs of them. That's not true, they did, um... I mean, they immediately got Rampaging Ferocidon at, uh, when Rivals of Ixalan came out. So that literally only lasted just a few months. Very short period of time. There's the Kefnet. Let's try to destroy it first. Okay, immediately happened, so. Conquer didn't last long. They've been, they've been pretty quick. They've been pretty quick to ban stuff. I don't think it has a lot to do with packs, to be honest. They're not gonna sell packs if people aren't playing the formats. That's just, that's the reality. Like, I think some of those... Alright. Draw five, that seems good. Hmm. Should have shocked during her upkeep. We'll do that at end of turn regardless. Um, I mean, they're incentivized to make the format as good as they possibly can, you know? It's not... It's not like they're they're just willfully like, well, we we don't want to ban anything out of these packs. That's just not the case. Oh, are we gonna counter this? Okay. Okay. All right. We'll try. We'll try Jeffrey. The reason we played this is because we're gonna ask Kanta anyway. I am not going to sit this one out. I'm not gonna sit this one out. Don't think that he will. He won't sit it out. You know what? I'm not done yet. Prison realm, that's not bad. That buys us a little time. But I think I would rather as Kanta and then hold it. Because I don't think that Tefri's going... I don't think Tefri's biting the dust this turn. And it's probably next turn. I think Tefri's going to get attacked for four here, but that's it. Okay. Spell Pierce, they have three lands available. Alright, let's get a Sarkin. That dies. Oh, that didn't pan out. Oh, this is not gonna pan out. This is not gonna pan out at all. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was a good it's little trick. A matter of time. That was a good trick, opponent. I'll give it to you. Okay. Sarkin. We be 
begin. Minus. Your end has arrived. Prison realm, which doesn't, you know, it doesn't do it for long, but it's gonna do it for a little bit. Any updates? I don't. I don't really have any updates for Mardu Aristocrats. I, I actually think that the version that I played was very good. Um, you just can't beat Cry of the Carnarium. So, as the format starts to turn around to like these Jeskai decks, where their sweepers are um, not exile effects, then I think this that could actually could, could be good. Because it's very similar to Mono Red, but I think you have a little better game. Our opponent is putting it on us a little bit, I feel. We have three cards. We have one. Narset. Narset's a good one. The past, present, and future I think we're probably going to shock Narset here. Detection tower. Okay, that doesn't make too much of a difference. Really just to... It's basically just countering a... Search Frost Contact activation. <laughs> Alright. That's the real... That's the real Search Frost Contact, though. Deafening Clarion. Okay. Alright, we don't have a way to kill it, so this is gonna be tough. Yeah. A Tefri would have been good there. Thought Erasure. Okay, they're going to get Death and Clarion. Yep. That's gone. You figured it out. Hey, Bend to Bedevil? That's not good. That's definitely not good for us. They're just bending Bedevil. All right, let's see, let's see what we can dredge up. All right, two Planeswalkers. You must give us one. At least one Planeswalker to our hand. Of course it's Gideon. All right. Everyone told me that Gideon's good against control decks. Okay, here we are. So... So what are we doing? We got a Gideon. We're playing against a control deck. Our opponent has a Nickel Bolas. I hate us. I hate everything. There it goes. Gideon. Very flavorful. Man, even getting back our Narset's not even good. All right. Let's see what our opponent gives us. A land? I bet it's a land. Yeah. All right. Those who cannot just meditate okay. and prepare. Okay, so I think we can get... I think we can Sarkin, which gets Bolas. Plus, power. This play is tapped. Okay. They are conceivable. All right. Can we make it until the next turn? Oh my God! Come on. Gods once, I am one again. What is under this? Anything exiled by this? No. All right, so we can get back. So we can get back Tefri. Yep. We can get back Tefri. Bounce Prison Realm. Prison Realm Bolus. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is get Tefri. action is needed. Okay, we're gonna minus here. 
Keep an open mind. Gonna get Sarkin. Okay. Tefri. We have eight mana, so we can do all of this. I'm known for my excellent timing. Sarkin. I mean, sure. You can't cast any spells, so. Oh my god, another bolus? You're gonna be kidding me. I fight with a dragon's rage. So it's another bolus. That doesn't help us a ton. All right, I and mean, we still bounce this. No, I am not making this up as I go. Yeah, we don't draw a card. That's fine. All right. We can't put bullets in his hand. So we attack for eight to three, but we need more Sarkins. I think we're out of Sarkins. This is our last Sarkin. All right, one, two, three, four. This is our last Sarkin. Okay. We're just going to do this. Dragons. We're going to attack. Attack. In the turn. Just saved Tefri. Oh, bounce the Sarkin. Should have done that. You're right. Yeah, should have should have plused, played Tefri, bounced Sarkin. Everything is power, and I am everything. Hmm. This is bad. Listen to them roar! <laughs> Watch this! A dragon would rather I die really than lose. All right. We have a Karn and a Prison. All right, so Prison Realm's gone. So that would that plan would not have worked either way because they had the third thought erasure. Not that, not that that's defensible or anything, but at least it turns out it would not have worked. Oh my god! All right. So opponent's seen four boluses. Spark One, two, three, mine. four. Got it. I still have much for me. your core. search. Okay, this gets us another Narset. What are we getting though? Sahili? We have another prison realm. Yeah, I think we have to just minus. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Plus, I've got time. I'm a little concerned to play this one out. So that doesn't kill them next turn either way. Like if we play this one out. Put, put one into play. They're both 2-2s. Two -twos. They kill one. This becomes a 1-1. One -one. We make another one next turn. It becomes a 2-2. Two -two. We still only attack them for not their life total. So I think we just hold it. Try to make another one next turn. 
Maybe they do math wrong and like don't kill this construct. Let's get rid of Sager Foundry. Of a time planes were I outsmarted you eons ago. Alright. Alright. That's a lot of good cards. Man. Feels bad. Feels bad. Alright. Let's get a Narset now. This will aid us. Will it? Will it aid us? I feel like you're lying a little bit. I have practiced against many foes like you. Put thoughtfulness before action. Okay. So we can bounce this. We can also make a blocker. Really gonna make two blockers. No, we only make one. I don't think bouncing it makes any difference. Then a challenge you'll get. Trust me. I think we should have kill this bolus. And at least get our opponent down to their last bolus. Yeah, it's just you. Doing this before they can do anything. Okay. Working on, uh, I believe they call this very thin margins. We have a lot of lands left. So I got an Ingress Rampage. They're going to make us sacrifice a creature. And they're going to pick off a Planeswalker of their choice. Oh, disinformation campaign. That's brutal. All right. Sacrifice a creature. Narset. Okay. This was overwhelming. Bolus gets another one. Ah, uh, that's fine. I have other schemes to attend. Let your weak minds crumble. We have a lot of lands left. Is the is part of the problem. Minus does nothing. I don't know if we can win this game. I think we're I think we're pretty much just drawing dead. I think we are pretty much drawing dead. I can we can bounce this, but we don't draw anything, and then Tefri bites the dust. Let's try to I've got it. Let's try to live another turn. Only we have left in our deck is two Tefris, two spell pierce, two shocks. A settle and eleven lands. I don't think I think we have no shot. We got no shot. And we have a Narset over here, which gets us one of those cards at best.
I think if we can somehow kill our opponent's Bolas, then we have a shot because they will not be able to... They will not be able to do anything. We really should have seen that coming. I am the Perish. All right, mobilize district. Like, this is the only way we can do anything. All right, I'm going to pass the turn and uh, go to the bathroom real quick. Okay, let's resolve this ability. We'll get rid of the beacons later. Will be pain. My intellect is without limit. Niggle Bull is the Ravager. That's not good. Okay, now we're dead. We are we are officially I I was fighting dragons officially I was dead. Fighting ants. It's like a bitey bitey noise. What are we getting, Sarkin? Alright. That's good enough. We're defeated. I feel like we lost that one somewhere along the way. I'm not sure exactly where, but somewhere. Probably somewhere with Sarkin and Tefri bouncing it, replaying it, and such. Sand actually seems fine. We're only on two lands, but... We have a Spell Pierce, Prison Realm, Search, Power Helix. Everything's pretty cheap. We're a white mana away from casting our entire hand, so... Nothing we want to do on turn one with the Spell Pierce. Play a search. Yeah, four back to back, back to back to back to back boluses. It's not exactly what we wanted. Ooh, okay. Um, I actually do want Tefri. We'll keep it for now. We're past the turn. So, essentially... Like, if we go... If they go, like, Judith here... Okay, they don't. Alright, we'll Helix this. You play something I can counter with a spell pierce, say. Eh? How about that? Acrobat? That's not something I can counter with spell pierce. Graveyard. 
Held fountain? Okay. We'll pay two. This does not have haste, this so... A fight you can win. Happy to return the hacker bat. This. Okay, beacon is good. Acrobat is back. Uh, let's bend this. Shock. All right. I've got time. Let's do prison realm instead. Nope. All right. Do you see that Pauper and Singleton are free to enter next month? They're weeks two and three of Chronicles. No, I did not. That's awesome, though. Very excited for Singleton. Pauper's fine, but like I get tired of playing against the um, the Rats decks and the uh, stupid Persistent Petitioners decks. I don't even think they're particularly good, but they're just miserable to play against. This is Super Friends in Constructed rather than Limited. Foot Light Fiend. Foot Light Fiend, the sequel. Ben. Plus. Trust me, I have a plan. So if we tapped No don't don't tap this. Why are you gotta be like that? Okay. Resolve. Will defend the weak at every opportunity. Plus, spent zero. Resolve. Prepare for battle. Pay two, and then pass the turn. Okay, so now we have mobilized district as well as spell pierce and shock. In case we need to get froggy. We're feeling particularly froggy. How did you undo the land tapping? Control Z. What's up, Minaj Fibble Flab? Min Minaj Fibble Flab? I'm doing a terrible job of pronouncing that. Both at Gideon. Okay. Take out Judy. Or both at Teferi, not Gideon. Mini. Mini Jibble Flab. Mini, got it. That was one. Okay. That was nothing. Hmm. Interesting. So now. Want me to phase neither you out of, of them time? die? Okay. Uh, graveyard. Plus. Plus and I believe lifelink. Plus. I'll protect you. Okay. Now we can activate it again with Spell Pierce. You know, you don't need, you don't, that's true, you don't need full control.
Nice tap in there, auto tapper. One blue card in my hand leaves Don't up Sacred Foundry. Uh, do you think Oathbreaker is better as 60 cards or 100 card with 40 life? Um, that didn't go according to plan. I have not played. I think we have seven in here. Yeah, we do. Let's keep this. So this is going to get indestructible. Okay. They're going to block the 3-3. Three, three. When you have Mox Hammer, got to bluff no blue. I'll get it back to Oathbreaker in a second. The Oath of Tefri probably would have been better than the Gideon. Though, Gideon might win us this game. Great. That's what I thought that you would do. That Pyro Helix. That's a good Pyro Helix. We did a blue with the mox, but still, what if the mox got blown up? God Eternal Bontu. The spell Pierce is uh, terrible. Like, just, just the worst. Wow. That's aggressive. What if I just bounced it? What if I just had, like, Teferi and just bounced it? Like, I'm going to try to do that. Oh my gosh, stop tapping Mobilize District. What is wrong? I do not, I do not understand. Legitimately don't understand. Yeah, I, I can kill it with Gideon, but then Gideon dies. I don't want to do that. Two, three. I think I'm just going to get shock. Like, one, two, three. Activate. Plus, give this indestructible. Like cleave the darkness. All right. I mean, you can block the mobilized district. That's fine. I don't want to get Clarion because I would rather just. Um, I would rather just be able to cast something at the end of my opponent's turn, like if they play another blocker. Because if they attack Bontu, if they attack Gideon with Bontu, then they're dead on the swing back. And it's unlikely that they're going to have a blocker that is like, uh, like more than two toughness. And if they do, they're still forced into a terrible attack where they're actually still dead because they take... If they're taking four here, because they know we have shock, right? So they're going to five. So next turn, what are their options? Their options are attack this, which goes to two. Then they're going to get hit by three and two. Yeah, so now they have like a, they have a two toughness blocker, which is just not going to be good enough.
Oh, this... The only, the only thing that doesn't make any sense is attacking... Really attacking at all. Okay, yeah. That's why I didn't want to get Clarion. I want all my mana for the next turn. Okay. Alright, Oathbreaker. So, um, I like having 100 cards. Because... It creates more variation in the game. One of my issues with Oathbreaker is I think people are trying to break it. Obviously, it's in the name. Okay, this hand's not good. We're going to mulligan this one. All right, this hand's fine. This on the bottom. We'll probably play Mono Red and get punished by that, but here we go. All right. Going to get punished. Uh, so, a, a lot of people are trying to make it so you're 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 having you're having the same experience every game with Oathbreaker, and that's that's not what I want when I'm playing like singleton formats. Like I feel like the point is to play as many different dynamic games. Like even if you have a deck where your strategy is to do the same thing, it's still going to play out every time differently. Like. If you want to play a deck that is just doing the same thing over and over, like, I, I think, for me, that's when I play different formats. So, I don't want to have a deck that's playing out the same over and over again. And with Oathbreaker, the smaller the, the smaller the deck with Singleton, 60 cards, um, as well as I make two cards that you're going to have essentially every game. I don't know. I'd not, I'm not, like, the biggest fan. Of that, I don't mind the format itself. We played we played a similar version. Um, I am not going to sit this one out. Okay, we're we're plusing That's here. Like it. Um, and we're gonna try to minus next turn if we're able to play Karn and put a blocker up. Okay, we're just gonna counter this risk factor. We're gonna go to six. Or Terry's gonna get hit, all both of which are fine. Yeah, we're six. Shock is a good draw. So why are we Oh that was that was poor. Like wind and wave. We should have played shock before. Now we cannot shock. There goes nothing. All right, we'll bounce this one. Here's a mobilized district. Hone your prowess. Uh, let's get the pyro helix. We messed ourselves up pretty good there. Or Tefri's gonna die, essentially. Or not. Light up. Okay. Okay, there's some more creatures. Yep. Yep. All right. So plus this might be minus. A trick for this. That's what we want. Clarion. We're gonna play this tapped. We're gonna play this. Let's just tap this. Let's tap this so we can hold up. Yeah, red and blue. Why can't you shock? Because it, this makes colors based on the 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 creatures I have or the planeswalkers I have. I don't have any red planeswalkers. I can't cast it.
One one. No, I am not making this up. Oh as my I gosh! Go. Can you please stop cat tapping mobilized district? God, it's driving me crazy. Okay, plus. I'll make use of that later. All right. Intern. I feel like we're still not a favorite. Okay. All right. Things are turning around. Stop tapping mobilized district. What know you of dragons? Spell pierce? Alright, let's get this. Return. Let's get this spell pierce. Let's plus. Oh, I've done the and hero plus. thing before. They are coming. So, attack for fifteen. All right. We can make a mobilized district, shock, and spell pierce. Guess we could have done this for free. This costs nothing. Risk factor. Okay, that's gonna resolve. Uh, decline. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Narset. So, it's not that I dislike Oathbreaker. Back on that. But, um, I would prefer 100 cards, and I like the commander ban list. I think it's fine for the most part. I'm not saying that it's perfect, like I would change some things, but that's regardless. So, on commander versus, we played essentially what was Oathbreaker, just with 100 cards, 40 life, and the commander ban list. We're going to mulligan this hand. We have a lot of cards that are either not good early or not good in this matchup. We'll keep this, hope we draw a land. That's not a land, we'll bend it. Yeah, Narset is definitely great. Can can confirm Narset's awesome. Palancron slash Deadeye needs a ban. I mean, honestly, like, like you guys are gonna hate that I say this, but that's like a that's a playgroup thing. It, I think people that are that do that do that type of thing. To just make infinite mana, like that's like an arms race thing. Um, like a lot of a lot of playgroups don't have issue with that, but if if it was if it wasn't Palancron Dead Eye would be something else. Like there's there's always there's always going to be the next the next thing. Yeah, it is dumb. I mean, like, Protein Hulk is dumb. Kiki-Jiki and, like, no, a thousand different cards are dumb. So, like, while I agree that it's, like, there's definitely things... Like, there's, there's a lot of two-card combos in Commander. And if your playgroup is playing those, then that's, like... I feel like that's largely ice an isolated thing.
No spell pierce. Okay, no spell pierce or dive down. I'm betting proning was an insane decision. Let's slow this down. I've got it. All right, play this tapped. Teffer can go bye bye. We're gonna prison well realm here on our next turn. They don't have spell pierce, obviously. They might have it now. They might have dive down now. We will meet again. All right. Do we have a wizard's retort? No. So we have dive down. Trickster. All right. I guess we'll keep this. Sure. Okay. All right, opponent's not doing anything. I'll just wait. Curious obsession. Okay, come on. Yes! This is the unluckiest game for Mono Blue I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure they just feel the same way. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to jam this Tefri. They probably just don't have a counter spell. Sure. Man. Sorry, I'm late. Poor opponent. I almost feel bad. Like, that That had to have been very unlucky. All right, one more. One more. Uh... I don't, I don't know. There's so many. There's so many two card combos. Like if you want EDH to be an arms race, then it can be, and that's fine. You're just you're just kind of playing a different format than a lot of people, and if that's how your play group wants to play, that you're trying to kind of get each other as quickly as you can, that's like honestly, it's like it, I, I think for most in most cases it's totally fine. But you got to understand uh, that you know it can be powered down. Like a lot of a lot of the decks on the show, like at most we play seventy five percent decks, but usually it's under that. Usually it's closer to like fifty percent decks. Um, and I understand that people's collections are more limited, and that is extremely reasonable because we have access to a lot more cards. But what often happens is someone's like, "Oh, I, I'm not winning very much, so I want to get more powerful cards to win," and then the next person's like, "Well, I want to do that. I want to do that, etc." library is the draft next unfortunately it's not uh let's let's play let's play gideon and then see what happens i am here to aid in the assault we we have already done the draft although i would recommend going to YouTube.com slash ThinkTwiceMTG on Thursday, and you can catch the draft in full. It is, without a doubt, worth going to check out. Okay, so if we can draw a land... Come on, land. Karn. That's not what I wanted. Prepare for battle. All right. I think we can get everything with the land. At least Gideon does not die this way, which is the positive thing. How do I like the new changeling? It is interesting. It is. Oh no, Gideon! You are gonna die. All right. You did a good job. You lived a good life. Another day, villain. Let's 
prison realm. Let's put Sargon on the bottom. We just need land at this point. And I don't want to mess around. Like I don't want them to have spell pierce or dive down or anything. Like I don't know. I don't know what's going on in their deck. They're a blue black zombies deck, so we could be work we could be working with anything. Graveyard. More Narsets. Alright, let's play Karn. I will do See if we can go upstairs. This will get us to site another another land, which is good. Yep. They previewed four more cards. I will I will check those out as soon as I'm done. I probably will not have time to look at them and assess them on stream, but... Well, let's see. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe maybe with a can-do attitude. Ever seen, if you want it, fight for it. Ever seen water burn? That's what he was going to ask me. I don't care for that question. This will not deter me. Five. Graveyard. Plus. Are you certain of your decision? Well, we're probably gonna get mobilized district, if I had to guess. Now do you see the benefits of peace? I got settle the wreckage. Why they give us settle the wreckage? That doesn't make any sense. Can I counter settle the wreckage? That would be bad. I wish we could play Tefri and then play Settle the Wreckage. Maybe we can do that later. Let's we'll play Narset now. I train and meditate and prepare. I think we should get this Cleansing Nova. Just play this Tefri. I can no longer stand by and watch. And plus, make them make them choose. Don't worry, I got this. Do you have six power? Maybe you have more. The mass card that gives him hexproof. Yeah, Lazatep plating. That could be it. So I got that cleansing Nova just in case. More overseers. So now it's making me seem like it seems like he has spell pierce. Ramming speed. Why are people more scared of planeswalkers than they should be? I don't know. I think planeswalkers are like the worst card type in commander. Like honestly. Only time. You will cannot tell. see your folly. Okay, so we have seven in here. Um, Karn's on three. I think I just want to bend this. Transform here. Play this and attempt to get all creatures. Even, even with Spell Pierce, they're not, you know, like they're not really getting us. All right. Plus. The choices we made reveal. All right. I'm getting a land there. Find out what we can get with this Narset. Keep an open mind. Prison Realm is a good one. We're not gonna play Prison Realm, but we will play this other Narset. 
Oh yeah, Steven has definitely put in some work. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. As an attractive player, correct deck building. Uh, get any top deck easily to have an oppressive ultimate. Yeah, I think that's generally the case. Put thoughtfulness before action. All right, we'll find a Sarkin this time. Plaza Tep Reaver. Okay, let's let's search see if we can find a spell pierce or a Tefri. Hone your prowess. All right, we're sarking. Minus. Let's get spell pierce. Nothing is ever truly lost. Feel the heat of my flames. Plus, are you ready? Yeah, now we're going to we're going to attack on uh, our opponent's face over here. Um, I don't think there's any reason to play any of these. I shot because I don't think we need the life. I would rather be able to cast Spell Pierce... Pay for a spell pierce and cast shock. They have to kill all of our planeswalkers this turn. And if they can't do that, then it doesn't matter. Because we just have another Sarkin in our hand. So they kill Narset, it's fine. That's fine. We do not have any dragons. You're safe. I will consume you. All right, opponent figured it out. Ooh. All right, seven smackaroonies. Give us something good. Banefire and Territorial Allosaurus and the Thousand Gold. All right. This is where we call it a night. We did pretty good. We uh, Seven wins in draft, seven wins in constructed. So everyone that stuck it out,